Mathematics is not a spectator sport. In order to learn, you must be involved by doing. If I only hear, I forget. If I hear and I see, I will remember. If I hear, see, and do, then I understand. You must use your blocks with this video. So if you do not already have them in front of you, then get them before continuing with this video. How many is this? One. How many is this? One. And how many is this? That's right, one. We can count each of these as one, but they are different kinds. This is a unit. Unit is its name, and we can count it. This is one unit. This is two units. How do we know? Because we can see, feel, and count each single unit. This is three units. Three tells us how many, and unit tells us what kind or its name. There are two parts to a number's name, the how many part and the what kind part. This is X. X is its name, but how many is it? We don't know. It could represent three, or one, or 562. We don't know. Your imagination can allow X to be any number. Given enough clues, we can determine what number X is. But even if we don't know what X represents, we can still count X's. This is X square. X square is its name, and like X, we do not know what amount it represents. However, we can count X squares, and we know that it is X across and X up. It is X two ways, and that is why we write it X square. X two ways, or X square. So this is a unit, and this is an X, and this is an X square. Great! With this information alone, you are now able to do a number of fun activities, the beginnings of algebraic operations. Take out of your kit three X squares and five X's and one unit. Now take out two X squares and two X's and four units. Now let's push together the like or same kinds and count what we have. We have five X squares and seven X's and five units. Since we only count like kinds, this is the answer. You have just added two polynomials and thus completed an algebraic addition problem because adding is just pushing together and counting. Remember, you only count the same kinds. Now let's try another one with a different fun twist. Let's mix them all up. Get out two X squares and three units and four X's and one unit and one X square and five units and two X's and three X squares. Now let's count the same kinds and see how many we have of each kind. How many X squares? Six. How many X's? Six. How many units? Nine. Six X square plus six X plus nine. In algebra, this is called combining like terms or simplifying. So let's review. This is a what? A unit. This is a what? An X. This is a what? An X square. True or false? Algebra is just counting. True. True or false? In algebra, you can combine and count all kinds. False. We can only combine and count same or like kinds. With just this information, you have all you need to complete up through book four in the workbooks. Let's begin with book one. 
In Book 1 of Level 1, we are learning to count and identify units, X's and X squares, and the notation that we can use with them. Let's do a few examples. Here is page 16 from the workbook. The left-hand column is our X squares. The bottom line is our X's. And the right-hand column is our units. Based on the blocks that you see, what kind are they and how many are there? The kind is units and how many is six. So our answer is six units. Let's do the problem on the bottom. What is the kind? They are x squares. And how many of them are there? Nine. Our answer is nine x square. Good job. Let's move on to book two. In book two of level one, we introduce the addition symbol. We will push our like kinds together, count them, and identify their symbols. Let's do a few examples. Again, we will push together, tell how many, and what kind. This example is taken from the bottom of page eight. Here we want to count like kinds and circle the answer that tells how many and what kind. We have how many x squares? One. How many x's? Three. How many units? Three. Our answer would be one x square, three x's, and three units. On the top of page 12, we see the following picture. First, we write how many of each kind. Top row would be one x square, one x, and one unit. Bottom row would be two x square, one x, and two units. Pushed together, there are how many x squares? Three. How many x's? Two. How many units? Three. Good. Let's do the next one. In the top row, we are counting two x squares, two x's, and three units. In the bottom row, we are counting three x squares, three x's, and four units. Together, there are how many x squares? Five. How many x's? Five. How many units? Seven. Great! Now on to book three. In book three of level one, we become more familiar with written algebraic expressions. Let's do a few examples. Let's look at the example at the top of page three. You have already done this, so it will be easy for you. How many x squares do we have? Two. How many x's? Two. How many units? Four. Which of the written algebraic expressions at the bottom of the problem does this represent? Right, the first one. Now on to page 20. Let's tell how many of each kind, then count them, then write the answer. The top row is 2x squared, 2x, and two units. The bottom row is 1x squared, 6x, and three units. Counting the same kinds added together, there are 3x squared plus 8x plus five units. The last problem is done the same way. There are 4x squared, 4x, and six units, and 1x squared 5x and 9 units. Together, there are 5x squared plus 9x plus 15. You're doing great. Finally, we look at book four. In book four of level one, we get more experience using standard algebraic notation. On page five, there are three algebraic additions. We will tell how many of each kind, then add. Let's look at the last one on the page. There are three x squares, 
2x and 9, and 3x squared, 3x, and 1. Which notation to the right is correct? Right, the second one. And how many is 3x squared and 2x and 9 plus 3x squared and 3x and 1? 6x squared plus 5x plus 10. Let's do another one from page 16. The notation tells us how many and what kind. We will show pictures that correspond to the notation. The top row looks like this. 2x squared, 4x, and 4. The bottom row looks like this. 2x squared, 4x, and 3. Our answer would be written 4x squared plus 8x plus 7. Good! Now let's do one more on page 20. We can see a picture of the blocks on the left. We will complete the notation. The top row is 8x squared plus 8x and no units. The bottom row is 1x squared plus 1x plus 1. Our answer is 9x squared plus 9x plus 1. So how are you doing? This ends the study of the first fundamentals of algebra. Congratulations! You should stop the tape and take some time to review the books that we have talked about and try some of the examples in the books. Keep in mind that you should work at your own pace. Get a firm grasp of these fundamentals and you are well on your way. We'll continue when you're ready.